guys somewhere on the trail here and I hope you're all having a great day out there um, I thought it was time for me to go ahead and give you an update on Jackie B and let you know what's going on with his eyes and I also just wanted to tell you a quick story about how I met the greatest hiking dog in the world or as you know him Jackie B so quickly um, <clears throat> excuse me in 2014 I decided you know to start this channel so just to make a personal record of my hikes and stuff and um, I had never done any videos or you know edited a video uploaded a video anything like that and um, so after a couple of hikes I was wondering you know what I could do maybe to make you know the channel a little different from other channels that I'd seen and so on my third hike on the um, Ozark Trail, uh, I was on the Tom Sock section, and it was in November of 2014. And out of the bushes, um, all of a sudden this brown head came. I mean, I heard this rustling in the bushes, and all of a sudden a brown head came poking out, and... Uh, scared me for a second but then I realized it was a dog and you know I thought he was probably somebody's dog and somebody was around there but um I never found anybody I never saw anybody so I went ahead and took him with me um back to St. Louis where I was living at the time took him to the vet he didn't have a chip um he wasn't fixed or anything so anyway, um, he didn't have a chip. I decided to keep him. My kids fell in love with him. And I just thought, well, you know, now I have somebody to go hiking with. And it'll be cool. It'll make my channel different. So, um, you know, that's pretty much how we met and <laughs> ran into each other. And, of course, he's been on a ton of hikes with me since then. And we've done all kinds of stuff. And maybe I'll throw a list on the end of this video of all the stuff he's managed to do with me anyway I took him to an eye specialist here in Dallas at the veterinary eye institute and uh, it's a really great place where they specialize in you know animals eyes and uh, anyway um, he did pretty good on the preliminary tests he everything was fine they checked his tear rate and some other things eye pressure and they put some sort of stain in his eye and looked at him and uh, those tests all came out pretty good but then they turned all the lights off and got out a bunch of lights and stuff and really looked into his eyes and uh well um unfortunately i hate to report it's not good news um he has been diagnosed with what is progressive retinal atrophy or pra and what it is is i guess there are enzymes in the photoreceptors of the retina and it helps to prevent damage from light and well with this over time those photoreceptors die and the rod cells um the control dim light vision go first and then the cone cells and then eventually um, unfortunately he is going to go totally blind um, there's no treatment for this it's totally genetic inherited and um, he's right in you know they said it usually comes on about in the middle age of a pet he's about six years old so that's probably you know roughly about where he is as far as I can guess I mean I've had him five years and he was about a year old when we found each other but yeah unfortunately this looks like uh, he won't be able to go on any more hiking trips and he'll probably be completely blind in about a year they, they're guessing um, he's pretty well along they thought that he was already struggling and we just didn't know 
but uh, luckily it's not painful or anything and they say that most pets really ju adjust well to you know going blind and they're not unhappy or anything like that so anyway um, he's got other dog friends to play with here and so he'll be okay it's just that uh, I'm sad to say that probably for <clears throat> my safety and his safety that we probably just won't be able to come hiking with me anymore so anyway I'm sorry to tell you guys the guys I know a lot of you have commented on you know how much you like Jackie and stuff and uh, anyway that's uh, the news and so with that I'll uh, I hate to leave on a down note but there's just no good news here um, like I said there's no pain involved and he does have other dog friends here to play with so the rest of his life is gonna be you know other than the fact that he's going to be blind in about a year he'll he'll be fine so anyway um thanks for listening and um as always we appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you somewhere on the trail take care <laughs>